welcome back everyone for some more Mega Man Rock Force. And now it's time to play yet another Rock Force member. And in today's video, I'm going to be playing as Cutman. Now, Cutman is my second favorite Rock Force member. I, I actually rate him more than I do Fireman. And, it is, and in, in this video, if I can speak English, I'll be fighting Pulse Man. Now, Cutman's supposed to do a pretty good job on here, so... But anyway, his weapon is the Rolling Cutter. You can hold up and fire to make a looping shot, much like the Night Crush. You can hold down and fire, and the Rolling Cutter will follow along the ground. And Cutman can also wall jump as well. He's only one of two, uh, Rock Force members that I know of off the top of my head that can do that. And Luckman is the other one. Nice. Okay, not far enough for him. Sweet! I don't like the expression on his face when he slides, too. But yeah, Cutman is my second favorite, uh, Rock Force member. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, Electman, I think, is the best Rock Force member in this game. But that's just my opinion, though. Man, I am liking this rolling cutter a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's making short work of the enemies here. Now, if I can just get these shield attackers here. Now, is it just me or the rolling cutters look like white Pac-Man on the, uh, should I say Pac-Man on the screen now? <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so cool. Okay, now we get this part again. Now, I think I said this in my playthrough, and if I did, I stand by it. I think this is much easier than the teleporting gimmick that was on Mega Man 9 and Galaxy Man stage. Just gotta, you just have to watch out where you're going and where you're coming from. Okay, should be getting close to the mid-boss here soon. Oh, I just love how it goes to that shield like that. Okay, now just to situate myself here. Okay, mini-boss time. Should I say mid-boss? Um... Okay. Am I actually inflicting damage on it? Oh. Okay. Oh, I keep on forgetting about that. Okay, am I actually inflicting damage on this thing? I don't think I am. Okay, just gonna watch out here. Oh. Uh huh. Hey then. Alrighty, let's see. Ah. Wait a second, I just thought of something. Okay, now if I can actually aim it toward so I can hit this thing. Oh. There we go. You know, I just thought about- I mean, this is the, about the fourth or fifth time I have attempted this thing, and just now I just thought about this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to edit this video just so I can get to this point, that way it won't be too long, but still. There we go! And the rolling cutter seems to do its thing against the mid-boss, too. I just wish that I would've thought about that sooner. You can see the wall jump there. Now, I could be wrong about this, I never played the game, but in Mega Man Power Powered Up, I think Cutman can wall jump on that game, too. Okay, definitely need that. I like that one-up icon that Cutman has. And I love the expression on his face, too. He means business. <laughs> Best part about this is that there's no lag. 
Not too much longer. Of course, watch out for these pit enemies here. They're always annoying. And I love that this ball and cutters slice right through this sniper Joe like that. <laughs> I just love his face when he does that. Could even say he's adorable when he slides. Okay, let's see what Pulse Man is about. Yeah, he does not like that. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Yeah, Cutman does not mess around in this stage, I'll tell you what. Of course, there's Mega Man again. Yeah, that was real effective against uh, Pulse Man. Well, hello there, Nacho Man. As a matter of fact, I'll be playing as you in the next video. Probably shouldn't have said that, I probably should have kept that a secret, but... But at least you guys know, so, as you can see there, there was the Paul Stopper, one of the best weapons in this game, in my opinion, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this, enjoying this series. Be seeing you guys again next time.